There's a bit of a beef tallow craze right now. People are eating it by the spoonful and slathering it on their face even. And part of that is fueled by Health Secretary RFK Jr. even recently going to a steak and shake where they replaced their fry oil with beef tallow saying that they were gonna RFK all their fries by March 1st. We're very grateful for them for RFKing the French fries. They yeah. turned me into a verb to, uh, to traditional ingredients like uh, beef tallow. Oh, by the way, here you go. But what really is beef tallow and what research do we have on it? Well, really, it's cow lard. <laughs> Obviously, lard is from pigs, but they're both rendered fat. And in this case, the saturated fat content of tallow is actually higher than lard. Yes, about 50% of it is saturated fat, which as we know from controlled feeding trials, saturated fat increases LDL or bad cholesterol. And as we now know from genetically randomized trials and more, high LDL is causal to atherosclerosis or heart disease. From this trial, feeding people different fats, butter and tallow had a similarly high LDL result, both over four millimoles, which is a cutoff of about 155 milligrams per deciliter with olive oil, 16 points lower than that. Special saturated fats that are actually healthy for humans, like stearic acid. Well, this study on the topic says that, well, it is a bit higher in stearic acid. Beef tallow is still hypercholesterolemic or cholesterol raising compared with fats containing less cholesterol raising saturated fat. But like the carnivore diet, where it excels is that there is not very much specific data on it and health outcomes. And so you can kind of make whatever claim you want, but due to its similarity to butter in terms of saturated fat, etc., we have a lot of really relevant studies on butter. For example, one that just came out very recently. It looked at over 200,000 people and found, quote, substituting 10 grams per day of total butter with an equivalent amount of total plant-based oils, including seed oils, was associated with an estimated 17% reduction in total mortality and cancer mortality. Additionally, an even larger study like this on over half a million people found that for each additional tablespoon of butter that you eat per day, we're looking at a seven or 8% increase in total and cardiovascular mortality. Yet they saw lower total mortality with more canola oil consumption, completely against this narrative here. And you'll be healthier because of all the nutrients in here. And lastly, I will say that it is so devoid of micronutrients that when I typed it into my nutrition track, I thought the tracker was broken. It wasn't. But yeah, beef tallow proponents seem to ignore the best science of what is essentially just cow lard. Now you know.